Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I will be sharing you this weekly routine that I do. Uh, I do meal prepping all the time and sometimes everyone, I don't have time to take video because I'm so busy. But if I have a day off, uh, I always make a big uh, meal prep. So on this uh, meal prep, I did about 34 meals or 35. I couldn't really remember the exact number, but it was a lot. It was included for my uh, two kids and then my husband and I and for my husband and I I measured everything and counted the calories and for the kids I didn't count their uh, uh, portion because they, they like to eat just a little so just keep on watching everyone channel welcome and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and also hit that bell that way you'll get notification whenever I upload a new videos and if you're returning subscribers thank you so much for joining here with me today as I do my another week of meal prepping so uh, these are the uh, ingredients I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using turkey I have a bag of shrimp right here then some ground beef some chicken and some turkey sausage some beef and i have a pork in here that's been marinated in black pepper salt and dill sauce and for my sides everyone i'm gonna be using the spaghetti squash green beans mix of uh, cauliflower broccoli and carrots and i'll be using quinoa as well and this is my pasta for the spaghetti sauce and I'll be using black beans and then corn and I have a sweet potato that I'm gonna mush uh, and then some carrots and brown rice uh, mix of bell pepper I have the yellow orange red and green and then two different onions I have white and red and then garlic and uh, last night everyone I did a crock pot for my pinto beans so it's been cooking here for over eight hours and it, it tastes really delicious everyone I just seasoned this with salt black pepper and some onions and I added eight cups of water for this so this is my meal prep for this week this is gonna be mostly stove top and then grilling and then the spaghetti squash is going to be baked so let's get started everyone and everyone before i forget i'll be using uh, black pepper to season the food salt some lemon cumin chili paprika garlic salt garlic powder lemon pepper uh, almond oil and taco seasoning uh, the paprika and chili is for my chicken fajita, uh, fajita. and then uh, so is the cumin and the lemon and the rest of it is just for my seasoning for my other ingredients and then the taco is for my turkey tacos all right everyone i have my oven uh, preheated at 400 degrees so now i'm going to clean up my spaghetti squash and take out the seeds So this is really easy to clean up. So what you do is just split it in half. Just be careful. It's really, really hard everyone. So just be careful you do not cut your hand. Here it is everyone so now what i'm going to do is get the seed out of this one so i'm going to use my teaspoon to scrape that seed And 
and this is a really good uh, replacement for spaghetti the pasta noodles all right and that's how it looks so now I'm gonna do the other one and I'll be back all right everyone I got all the seeds and my uh, spaghetti squash are ready to go so what I'm gonna do everyone is uh, I'm gonna use this right here and I'm gonna add about a fourth cup of water now I'm gonna season this right here this one I'm gonna season this with salt uh, black pepper and uh, some olive oil so let's do the black pepper first Just, you, you can be generous but just make sure you season it good now we're gonna do some salt and now we're gonna do some olive oil so this is the olive oil I'm gonna be using and just drizzle it on the top So I'm going to bake this for about 30 to 45 minutes until the spaghetti squash is ready. Alright, let's put this aside. Oops. Work, work. So let's put that aside and now let's put it in our pan. This is a small pan everyone so I'm just going to do what I can for this. Alright, so that's how it looks everyone. If you have a bigger pan, use that one. But this is what I have, so I'm just going to use what I have. Everyone, I washed all my uh, bell pepper in the lemon. So now I'm going to go ahead and slice uh, my bell pepper. So what I'm going to do is just cut to the lid. And I don't throw this away. Sorry guys, that's my oven. So normally everyone, uh, uh, don't really throw this away because you know it's still edible. So just slice that. In. I've seen a lot of people throw away the head of the bell pepper, but I don't like doing that. And I just gutted it out. Sorry, I forgot my garbage thing. All right, now we're just gonna slice this. So I'm just gonna slice it like that. And I'm gonna do this to all my bell pepper. Gonna do the same thing on the red bell pepper so it's easy to get that. Alright, and once I finish slicing the bell pepper, I'll be back. I finished slicing my um, bell pepper, so now I'm gonna slice my lemon. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it in half. Just put it right there. I'm gonna put some of this lemon to marinate some of my meat. All right, so now let's do the onions. This is how I slice my onion, everyone. Something easy.
For this one, I'm gonna chop this onion. You can chop the onion however you want. Then put it aside. Oops. All right, let's slice our red onion. The red onion everyone, I'm just going to slice this. That way this can go with my fajita stuff. Alright, so now I'm just going to slice this. just put it aside so in here everyone I have uh, six cloves of garlic so I'm gonna just chop this one I always smack it with my hand all right now it's so easy to peel Get the little thing on the top. You know everyone, slicing an onions can make you cry. Oh my god, my eyes is burning. So now let's just chop this. I'm not gonna uh, use a lot of garlic. There's only a few cooking that I'm going to be using this. Alright, so now let's put it right here. Alright, now it's time to marinate some meat. Alright everyone, it's time to marinate our shrimp. So in here I have the shrimp, it's thawed out. So I'm going to marinate this with salt. Uh, garlic powder, black pepper, and uh, lemon, and a touch of a del uh, more sauce. I forgot to show the mores. Uh, I'm gonna marinate this with a touch of mores, about a teaspoon. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then a little bit of uh, black pepper and then about a teaspoon of mors this is what I'm using everyone mors sauce is for marinade sauce and this has a uh, tin calories and uh, the sodium is not that bad, so it's good. And now I'm gonna squeeze some lemon. I'm just using about one slice of lemon. Alright, now just mix it well. And let this marinate for about, I'm gonna let this marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes while I'm prepping the other ingredients. All right, that I'm gonna let that marinate before I grill this. Everyone, this is how my uh, 
pan look with all the bell pepper, onions, and lemon, um, and uh, oh my goodness. All right, everyone. Now it's time to slice my meat that way I can marinate this. So um, I'm gonna get the fat and slice it. Uh, not really thin. Right here, this is a. Uh, I need to get rid of this fat right here. While I'm doing this, everyone, my um, sp uh, spaghetti squash is baking. All right. So now I'm gonna slice this, not very thin. So let me. So about this one, everyone. Not very, very thin. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna marinate this with the uh, more sauce and uh, a little bit of soy sauce and black pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and salt. I forgot to show the the soy sauce and uh, more and Worcestershire sauce on the video everyone but that's what I'm gonna use to marinate so I'm I'm cutting this not too thin so just get all the extra fat because I don't really need it it's so tough to eat it Too long just cut it all right everyone I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back all right everyone I finished cutting my beef so now I'm gonna marinate this beef that way it's gonna get tender and uh, I let it marinate for about 20 minutes everyone all right it's time to season our uh, meat so now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt A little bit of black pepper, about half a teaspoon. All right. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Well, right, let's do it two teaspoon, everyone. Two teaspoon. All right. Now let's add more sauce. Uh, about two teaspoon I mean two tablespoon all right then we're gonna add two teaspoon of salt I mean soy sauce All right, everyone, let's add a teaspoon of almond oil. This is just to marinate the beef. And later on, everyone, uh, as you cook this one, uh, you have to taste it to make sure you don't need more salt. So now I'm going to just mix this. Just mix this well until all the ingredients are well combined and I'm gonna let this marinate for 20 minutes all right I'll be back so 
All right, everyone, time to slice my chicken. So my chicken breast is pretty big right here. So I slice it in half. And now I'm gonna cut this on length. About this thick, everyone. So just that big. And I'm gonna do this to all my chicken breasts right here. So just like that everyone, since it's big, I slice it in half, that way it cooks faster. Alright, after I slice this, I'll be back. Alright everyone, to make a fajita seasoning, I'm going to be using paprika. I don't have any cayenne pepper, so I'm gonna replace it with uh, paprika. So I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of this in my bowl. All right, and then we're gonna use uh, chili powder. We're gonna use a tablespoon of the chili powder. Then we're going to use cumin powder. We're going to use about a teaspoon of this. We're going to use a teaspoon of black pepper. Alright everyone, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then one teaspoon of salt. Now let's just mix this all together. And that's how it looks. Just make sure you combine all the ingredients. Right there. So now it's time to marinate our chicken. Alright, to marinate our chicken, I'm going to start it with the lemon. This is just half of the big lemon. So just squeeze the juice. This is probably about a teaspoon, but I don't really measure that. Alright, and just make sure you get the seeds out in there. Now we're going to season it with one teaspoon of garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic. And then I'm going to split this right here. I'm going to split this in half. I'm going to put about probably two teaspoons of this. Alright, that's how it looks everyone. Then I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt to this. Just to give the chicken more flavor. Alright, now I'm just going to mix this using my hand. I'm 
I'm gonna let this marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just make sure it's well coated. All right, everyone. Now time to uh, put together our meatballs for the spaghetti. So I just put everything here. Um, this is, I think, two, three pounds. Yeah, this is about two, almost two and a half pounds of ground meat. All right, now we're gonna season this with uh, some salt. All right, we're gonna season it with one tablespoon of salt, some black pepper, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, Now we're gonna put some, a little bit of garlic salt, just a touch of garlic salt. Not so much, about half a teaspoon. Okay. And I'm gonna put Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of it. teaspoon of mors. Sorry everyone, I'm confused with my measuring. Right. And we're gonna use powder garlic. Hold on everyone. All right, we're gonna use two teaspoon of garlic. Powder. And everyone to add the flavor, I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, parsley. Let's add about half a teaspoon. There you go. And that's it everyone. So now let's just mix this together. I'm just using my hand guys. I, I wash my hand before I touch anything else. Everyone, I forgot to add eggs, so we're gonna add, add two eggs. All right, now let's just mix this together. You can add some crumbs, but I'm not adding crumbs on this. everyone I finished mixing my uh, ground beef with all the spice that I added now I'm gonna let it this let this chill in the fridge and uh, start cooking with my taco my turkey tacos all right, everyone my squash is done I baked this for 40 minutes and they're ready and this is how it looks so now I'm gonna scrape this and put this in a pyrex that way I can start my cooking so what I do is I just use the fork and I don't overcook this that way it's tender it's really easy to scrape this everyone all right 
Now I'm gonna just transfer this here. There we go. And if you like eating pasta, guys, this is the perfect uh, alternative for a uh, noodles. It's very healthy. Okay. All right. I'm gonna just finish doing this and I'll be back. This is how it looks. So uh, I'm just gonna cover this. Uh, that way I can start cooking. All right, everyone, time to do our green beans. So I'm just gonna pour all the green beans here. This is about two pounds of green beans. So now we're gonna season this with one teaspoon of salt. You can use more, but uh, I just don't want it to get really salty. All right, uh, one teaspoon of black pepper, I mean powder, garlic, garlic powder. All right. Then we're gonna season it with two tablespoons of olive oil. Just drizzle them everywhere. One tablespoon of soy sauce. There it goes. One tablespoon of soy sauce. All right. Now we're just gonna toast this together until all the ingredients are well combined. Now it's time to bake these green beans. I'm gonna bake this for about 15 minutes. All right, everyone, my beans is done. I baked this for 20 minutes on 350 degrees. So now I'm gonna put this aside and wait until everything is done cooking and then I will start assembling my meals. Mm -hmm. 